right. Thank you for tuning in this uh, Thursday morning, 20 minutes after 11 o'clock. And uh, one of the things that we pride ourselves on in this community here are our beautiful freshwater rivers. We've got springs that come up right here out of the ground, out of the aquifer. They say the water is as perfectly pure as possible. We should take advantage of that water. We should be in it, and it should be in us. Yeah. That's the, that's what we want to talk about right now. Uh, Polly Blitzer is on the phone. She is a skin and beauty expert, and she's part of a, a tour, actually. It's uh, something about hydration, a skin hydration tour. And she's going to help us understand this. Water is the key to healthy skin is what it says on my notes here. Polly Blitzer, good morning, Polly. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Oh, and you're right. It is the key. And where where are you right now? I'm in New York City. In New York City, okay. So, so, um, do, do you are we? Is this just about drinking water, or do we swim in it more often, or what? <laughs> um, well, it's actually interesting when it comes to skincare because I've been a beauty editor for over 15 years. The most common misconception is people don't know the difference between dry and dehydrated skin, and that completely impacts the types of products you should use, and it completely then translates to if your skin gets more wrinkles and if your skin looks old and you know if it feels rough and just looks dull so i'm going to give you the difference okay, okay. yeah because i don't know the difference i know and i didn't for so many years either and when i would test products you know because i get tons and tons of products to test as an editor i would always choose and gravitate towards the incorrect ones until i learned the difference so um dry skin has to do with the level of oil in your skin oil production and your um, sebaceous glands produce sebum, and that can translate into how greasy your skin is. And so I tend to have oily skin. Um, some people don't produce as much oil, and they have naturally dry skin. That's genetics, and you can't change that. But dehydrated skin has to do with the condition of your skin. So how much water is in the dermis, like the underneath layer of your skin, not just at the top, you know, so you can't touch or see it. Um, and that is a result of using the right products, um, using them correctly and how often you use them and then of course the environment and how much water you drink. So there are a few things that play into it but the first step is finding out how dehydrated your skin actually is. So one of my favorite brands in the beauty industry, I mean beauty editors just flock to this brand no matter what they, pr what, what they make, is Kiehl's since 1851. And they just started, it's a, it's a brand that is so heavy on education and health of the skin. They, ha they give out so many samples at their stores because they want people to try them and find out what they like. You know, the, the consultants at the store are so well educated and are so generous with like sharing and giving small mini treatments. And all you have to do is walk in to a store or at a counter at a department store right. and no appointment necessary and get a consultation with this new cool device that's called a dehydration analyzer tool. They hold it up to the surface of your face and it instantly calculates based on radio frequencies how dehydrated your skin is. So you find out what level. So you might be completely shocked and find out you're using all the wrong stuff or you may be pleasantly surprised to find out you're right on the money with everything you're using. Either way, you find out and then you know what steps to use and which products to use. But okay. no matter what products, it's important to use certain steps so I want to give those to you as well. Okay, Polly, can I can I ask you a question real quick? Um, of course. You, you said something that made me want to ask a question. You said that the dehydration analyzer tool is aimed at your face. Yes. Okay. Somet sometimes, now I'm thinking that I don't notice this on men. I don't know why, but but on ladies, I'll see their face looks younger than their neck. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Like uh, I do know what you mean. And and, and so does the pro does the hydration could it be regionalized? Could it be your face and you need work on your neck? Or, or would the tool say, oh, you're you... Such, yeah, you're such a great reporter. You could so be a beauty editor with asking a question. Like <laughs> oh, I, so, I'd be a great beauty editor. No, I mean, like, really. Like, I get interviewed all the time, and I love that question because it's so thorough and so perceptive and precise. Okay, so I'm going to tell you two things. Okay. First is... They can very easily, you know, place it on your neck as well. So they can put it on your hand, you know, and you can find out if you need to use more hand cream. Um, but then what you're observing is 
truly that way. I mean, some, it's very common for someone to have a very youthful, glowy face, and then their neck looks all creased and kind of like um, crepey and wrinkly. Well, is that, that, that be because they're using thing. products on their face, but they don't put products on their neck? And 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 yeah, I don't even know what's yeah. below the. I don't even know what's under the clothing. I mean, are are we yeah. dry? <laughs> yeah, we dry the earth. <laughs> Well, I mean, think about it. Yes. So the first is a lot of people neglect putting products on their neck. Another thing is that the, the, the composition and the physiology of the skin on your neck is different from that on your face. But when everything is, you know, um, ages naturally together, they should look kind of the same. I think that in some cases, but I'm, this doesn't apply to everyone obviously um they might have had some dermatological intervention mm -hmm. <laughs> and like they didn't have something done to their neck but you know there are a lot of behaviors and you know things that affect the skin on the neck for example now there's this new thing called tech neck which from people bending down over screens and phones and tablets they have creases you know horizontally across their neck so the neck is like a whole other thing but people really need to treat that as well and i the think that it's very perceptive Do very I perceptive so the, the <laughs> regimen that i'm about to give you should be for the whole face and neck okay so let's say all the way up from the forehead out to the ears and all the way down to maybe like I don't know where, um, like a where the a sun wide doesn't shine. Would hit. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so first is no matter what, you need to use a cleanser, and that's for obvious reasons to clean the surface of your skin. Okay. Next, some people forget is a toner. Now, a toner is not, you know, what I used to use when I was in high school that stung my face and smelled strong like nail polish remover, and um, was called an astringent. A toner is not drying, does not have any alcohol in it, if it's formulated well, then it should hydrate your skin. So you drench a cotton ball and press it into your skin. Don't just swipe things on because it's all about how you you know, apply it as well. And Kiehl's has this ultra um, facial toner that is, it's a, it just really drenches the skin with liquid hydration. Okay, can, it's not just can water you, in there. Can you tell me what you just said? Did you say Kiehl? What is that? Kiehl's. It's K-I-E-H-L apostrophe S, which is um, a okay. prestige uh, beauty company that okay. makes skincare, and it's been around since 1851. Um, I'm a fifth generation New Yorker, so I know a lot about this line because they opened their first apothecary in downtown New York in 1851, and a lot of the formulas are still the same because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh. Um, and this is the kind of brand where, you know, beauty editors at top magazines, you know, I'm a beauty editor, so I always ask people what they're using. They, no matter what kind of nanoparticle, fancy, high tech, science driven thing launches from the other brands, they always return to Kiehl's. So mm -hmm. Kiehl's, and no matter where you are in the country, I mean, they have counters at all the department stores and they have freestanding locations in a lot of cities. Um, so you can always, you know, find one. Do you advocate but, uh, good nutrition? Do you advocate good I nutrition also yeah, to help I the skin? Yes, I definitely do, but it's more important to have the regimen down. So the cleanser, oh. the toner, then a serum, and a lot of people forget that step, but it's important as well, and you want to press that into your skin. An eye treatment or an eye cream, and you apply that all around the eye, not just underneath. You go all the way up to the eyebrows. And then um, don't forget to use a face cream or lotion on top of that. I love the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. And then, of course, you can never, ever forget every single day of the year an SPF and I love, and my husband also uses the Kiel Super Fluid UV Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 50. All right. Oh my. And uh, then for nighttime, for nighttime, <laughs> it, it doesn't stop there. You have to use a night treatment to repair. So then that's your regimen. Okay. Polly, thank you so much for being on the air with us today. I have uh, just a real quick marketing idea. Uh, create a slogan around a product that says, don't neglect the neck. Just, just an idea. There you go. Just an idea. I love you it. got it. <laughs> <laughs> we got to go into business. Let's trademark <laughs> that right now. Be we've, we've got uh, 20 seconds. Give us a website so we can look up the information online. Um, well, if you want to find a location, you can go to keels.com, or you can check out my website, beautyblitz.com, for beauty tips. Okay, excellent. Well, thank you, Polly. Thank you so much for being on the air. You were very fun and, and, and uh, good information. Thank you. Thank you for your great ace reporting skills. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. This is WOCA.
Fox News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. The search for answers continues into what exactly happened to Freddie Gray, whose death sparked protests around the country. A new report is suggesting the 25-year-old may have been trying to hurt himself in a Baltimore police van. The Washington Post reports a prisoner in the van with Gray heard him banging against the walls of the vehicle. Gray's family denies he was trying to injure himself. Fox Radio's Rachel Sutherland. A preliminary report will be turned over to the state's attorney's office tomorrow. The Dow down below 18,000, despite some decent numbers on the economy. Jobless claims from last week, a big improvement. Jobless claims dropped by 34,000 to a 15-year low. 262,000 people filed for first-time benefits. It's eight straight week below that magic 300,000 number. And consumer spending climbed in March. Purchases up four-tenths of a percent. That's the biggest increase since November. Fox Vision Network's Tom Sullivan, Fox News. We report, you decide. Napa Auto Parts, we got your car covered, front to back, left to right. So whether you're looking for a driver's side window motor or a glove box light bulb, you can easily get what you need. Just go to NapaOnline.com, reserve it now, and pick it up in store later. Check it out now, and we'll stop messing with your speakers. Or maybe not. Conquer the job with Napa Know How at participating Napa Auto Parts stores. Let's get down to business. You don't travel too often for work, but when you do, you want to stay where you know you'll be taken care of. That's where Choice Hotels comes in. We have everything you need to keep you on top of your game, like free hot breakfast for that much-needed morning boost, free internet to keep you in touch with home base, and a generous loyalty program so you can earn great rewards. Stay for business at Choice Hotels and book now at choicehotels.com. Great endings begin here. Amenities vary by location. Hello, gorgeous. Hi, this is Becky at Hello, Gorgeous Salon. We are located in the heart of downtown Ocala, right next to the historic Marion Theater. I'd like to invite you to stop by and see our new boutique area and meet our staff of professional stylists. Here at Hello Gorgeous, we are ready to update your look with the latest trends. It's the perfect time to brighten up your look. So make your appointment now for those highlights and Brazilian blowout. But don't stop there. We are a full service salon offering manicures, pedicures, and facials also. So if you've been searching for a salon to call your own, come and see us at Hello Gorgeous Salon. We are located at 48 South Magnolia Avenue in downtown Ocala, right next to the Marion Theater. So call today and set up your appointment at Hello Gorgeous Salon at 351-5358. That's 351-5358. And don't forget, we also do men and children's cuts too. 351-5358. Hello Gorgeous what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. If your toddler seems to end up wearing more of their food than they eat, don't freak. Messy eaters, we now know. They tend to pick up languages more easily. Instead, our biggest dementia risk boils down to the foods we eat. Stay away from red meat, butter, sweets, and fried food. If you're trying to make a good impression on a man, do not worry about small flaws in your appearance like a chipped fingernail or a stain on your shirt because chances are he won't even notice. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Keep up with what's going on in the downtown area with Ocala Downtown Newspaper. Delivering thousands of newspapers to businesses in the downtown area, Ocala Downtown is there to keep you informed. They even have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs. And all we ask in return is that you tell them where you heard about it. It's simple. For more info, just call Tom's Picks, 352-804-1223, and pick up your copy of the Downtown Ocala Newspaper today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper online. Here are today's headlines from The Source, WOCA. The president of the Florida Senate, Andy Gardner of Orlando, is accusing the House of Representatives of violating the state constitution by adjourning early, and he's asking representatives to return to the Capitol tomorrow and finish the work of the legislative session. He said, quote, and for the House to do what they did to essentially say it's our way or the highway and we're going to take our ball and go home because we're not getting our way is wrong. He said he went on to say it's wrong for the Senate. It's wrong for the state of Florida, unquote. There's even talk that the Senate may file some sort of legal action against the House. But the House Speaker says they did nothing wrong and blames the Senate for stalling on the budget. Speaker Steve Cristofoli says the House won't be coming back until there's a special session on the budget in May or June. 
At Tuesday's law enforcement torch run, Donnellan Police Chief Joanne Black announced that she would be resigning her position for personal reasons effective May 11th. Shortly after the announcement, Donnellan City Manager Eddie Esch decided the Marion County Sheriff's Office would take over the police department for a period of 30 days while the city figures out what to do next. Marion County Sheriff's Office Lieutenant Brian Spivey spent his first day on the job doing an audit of the department and meeting people. The sheriff has agreed to run the department free of charge for the next month. Chief Black has only cited personal reasons for leaving. She will be paid the next two weeks, but cleaned out her office yesterday and has no plans of coming back. Chief Joanne Black has been with the department for 18 years. A store clerk in Eustace has her customers to thank for saving her from a man who stabbed her allegedly over a bottle of Gatorade. Frederick Haggerty was standing outside the Eustace Dollar General Store on Plaza Drive with his dog Sunday evening while his mother waited in line to pay at the register. According to the police report, the man in front of the mother, 26-year-old William Cowan, handed a bottle of Gatorade to the clerk and then realized he didn't have the dollar sixty cents it took to pay for it. Haggerty says his mother came running out of the store saying that the man was stabbing the clerk. Haggerty rushed into the store and tried to help another customer stop the attack, but Cowan took off, so Haggerty chased after him around the store and then into the street. He eventually gave up the chase, but was able to give police enough information on where to look for him. They found Cowan with blood on his hands and pants, holding a pair of samurai swords, each over two feet in length. The clerk was flown to Orlando region medical center but is expected to recover William Cowan is charged with attempted murder and is being held on a quarter million dollars bond For the first time, images from NASA's New Horizons spacecraft are revealing bright and dark regions on the surface of the planet Pluto. The dwarf planet is the primary target of the New Horizons close flyby in mid-July. The images were captured in early to mid-April from within 70 million miles using a long-range telescopic camera on New Horizons. New Horizons scientists interpreted the data to reveal the dwarf planet had broad surface markings, some bright and some dark. The markings include a bright area at one pole that may be a polar cap. Since it was discovered in 1930, Pluto has remained a mystery as it orbits our sun more than 3 billion miles from Earth. These latest New Horizons images allow the mission science team to detect any clear differences in brightness across Pluto's surface as it rotates. The NASA scientists say the images the spacecraft returns will dramatically improve as New Horizons speeds closer to its July rendezvous with Pluto. And those are the headlines from the source WOCA 96.3 FM and 1370 AM. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. For today, intervals of clouds and sun becoming breezy and less humid, the high 78 to 82. Tonight it will be mainly clear and comfortable with a low of 56 and a few inland spots 62 along the coast. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, breezy, and pleasant, high 79 to 83. Saturday, nice with sunshine, high 78 to 82. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Check this out. New shows? 